In the great painted desert a long time ago, twixt the feet of the Rockies and the Bighorn Plateau, lived a man of great calling, a man of great skill. In the city of Dodgeball, they sing of him still. Oh, lone stranger, your mask hides your face. Who you are, we can't say. Oh, lone stranger, they sing hi-ho, sliver, hey, way. To tell the story of the lone stranger, you gotta start with the first big hero of Dodgeball City. That'd be Little Joe. Now, Little Joe was what you might call a visionary, but his dreams ticked off his brothers who sold him off to a group of desperados. Oh dear. And after traveling in a ziggy zaggy line, he ended up in Dodgeball City, where his hard work and scrupulous character <laughs> landed him in the pokey. But with God's help, he got the mayor out of a bind by figuring out that hard times were on the way. The mayor granted him a reprieve and a job in emergency management. Little Joe organized the town, gathered up seven years for the grub and saved the day. He also saved his own family. He forgave his brothers for selling him off and set them all up with nice lives right there in Dodgeball. Times changed. Well, after little Joe and his brothers passed, their descendants multiplied like prairie dogs, till the new mayor and the people of the town started to worry that they'd be overrun. So they set taskmasters over the sons of little Joe to afflict them with heavy burdens and keep them down. They set them to digging with shovels and picks And drove them to building with boulders and bricks Till tired and battered they fell to their knees And cried to the heavens, deliver us please Oh, lone stranger, your mask hides your face Who you are we can't say Many of them, Wyatt. Ah, uh, too many of uh, who? Too many workers. Look at them all. Isn't that a good thing? I mean, you can't dig the Grand Canyon, build Monument Valley, and paint the painted desert with just a few guys. And what happens if they decide all at once that they're no longer interested in working for free? Ah, I see your point. Well, what do you want me to do? Thin the herd. Thin the herd? You know, make sure there are not so many. I'm not sure I... Gather up all the baby boys and send them up the river. <gasps> up the river? Up the river. Now the mayor thought his plan was awfully clever. But God had his eye on one special boy he was going to use to turn this whole mess around. What in the world? Yeah. Uh. 
Now I've been told when you pan for gold out west of Illinois <laughs> It ain't rare to find a bear but not a baby boy I think I'll name you Nugget And if you do, one thing is true, if to kindness you are prone You'll line your pack with bubble wrap and take that baby home I know, what about Mo? It's Indian for looking for gold and finding a baby Singing hi ya yippee ki yo, she picked him up and named him Mo. Singing hi ya yippee ki yo, she took that baby home. She named that baby Mo. Sincerely yours, Mayonnaise. Okay, read that back to me. Da 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 dash dash. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Any luck today? I found a baby. Oh, that's nice. What? Oh, little Mo began to grow, but not as strong as others. Couldn't hold a cup or measure up to his big zucchini brothers. To compensate, little Mo got great at working on his straw. It knocked you flat if standing at the wrong end of that ball. Singing hi ya yippee ki yo, look out for that mighty throw. Singing hi ya yippee ki yo, man that boy can throw, the boy that we call Mo. In his defense, it made good sense, but made his mother nervous to take those skills and pay his bills through a life in public service. He joined the core of Badgewar Zucchini's four companions. With mom's consent, soon off he went to guard over the canyons. Singing hi ya yippee ki yo, standing high and looking low. Singing hi yo, the boy can throw. That's our brother Mo. Singing hi ya yippee ki yo, standing high and looking low. Singing hi ya yippee ki yo, he's not that big we know, but man that boy can throw. The boy that we call Mo. Howdy. Here, let me help you. I don't need your help. I was just trying to. Well, it's too late for that, isn't it? Must be nice growing up pampered in the mayor's house. Instead out here breaking your back along with the rest of your kin. How did you know? Oh, your sister told a few friends. They told a few friends, and uh, well, I reckon everybody knows by now. They do? Besides, you're the spitting image of little Joe himself. Of course, he'd be spitting if he saw you wearing that badge. Traitor. Huh? Everything okay here, Mo? I... Uh... Yeah, er, er, everything's fine. Sure it's fine when the mayor's your granddaddy. We all know your rightful place is down there. He giving you a hard time? Yeah, what if I am? Don't talk back to me. Ooh. It's okay, Bill. No, it's not okay. <laughs> no one talks back to me. Especially a low-life descendant of Little Joe. Oh, leave him alone, Bill. Looks like you need a little lesson in respecting your superiors. Oh, leave him alone, Bill. Oh. That's enough. Stop! Huh? <laughs> yeah, right. Ah! gonna hurt Charlie. I was helping you. If the mayor finds out I'm a goner. Come on, guys. We're family. You gotta hide me. Oh, what? You got to whack us, too? What's going on here? <gasps> huh?
If you find him, bring him to me. This time, I'll see to it myself he goes up the river. Now, there weren't much for Mo to do but head for the hills. He did a few loop-de-loops to keep the mayor and his gang off his trail, and eventually, Mo made it to the Rockies where he was safe. Well, except for the bears. And that's the thing about mountains. They got bears. Well, after he lost that bear, he... Whoop! Bear's still around. But fortunately for Mo, bears aren't the only ones who live in the mountains. Come on, Zippy. Are you thirsty, boy? Mm. Oh, wow, Zippy. It's, it's heavier than last time. drink of water. Uh, not that tall. You should see my brothers. Oh, <laughs> you dropped your hat. <laughs> Thanks. Nice buffalo. What were you doing at the bottom of the well? Bear. Bear? Not again. Hey! I'm tired of running, and I'm not going back in that well! All right, bear. Find another cucumber to chase. Whew. I'm gonna hang on to this. Wow, that was an awfully brave thing to do. Mm. You think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> My name is Sally. And this is Zippy. Mm. Hi, Sally and Zippy. Pleased to meet ya. My name's Mo. When the larks go tweet, a tweedle dee dee and the doves say coo, a coo dee doo doo, and the sun hangs high in the Rocky Mountain sky. You know it must be love. You must be starving. Would you like to join us for dinner? Well, ma'am, that's mighty kind of you to ask. I'd love to. Now, some matches are made in phosphorus factories, while others are made in heaven. <laughs> Either way, it all starts with a little chemistry. Oh, when the ducks go quack, a wacky wacky whack, and the owls say hoo, a hoo do you do, and the stars shine bright in the Rocky Mountain night. You know it must be love. Well, Sally and her folks were mighty thankful to Mo for saving her from that bear. And Mo was mighty thankful to feel appreciated. And with all of that cordialness and niceness going around, it weren't long before they were all thankful for other things. Yep, Mo and Sally got hitched and started a family. Oh, and the bees go buzz, so buzzy buzzy buzz, and the little butterflies a flutter tutter by, and the clouds float fair through the Rocky Mountain air. You know it must be love. Mo took the domestic life like butter to a biscuit. Gone were the days of Canyon Garden and dodgeball throwing. Why, 
Anymore, Mo couldn't hit the broadside of a barn with a dodgeball, nor did he try. He was content caring for his family and walking Jimmy. Oh, thank the Lord above, you know it must be love. Come on, boy, let's go for a walk. Did you remember Sliver? Yep, never leave home without it. Mo named his walking stick Sliver. On account, it was a sliver of wood he pulled off that tree the day he met Sally. He never went anywhere without it, what with the bears and all. Now with most stories, this could be what you might call a happy ending. Look at that. He's even walking off into the sunset with his buffalo. But this is different from most stories, and I expect it's just getting started. Hello? Who's there? All right, Bear. I've got Sliver. I suggest you stay away. Ah! Mo had never seen a burning tumbleweed before. This tumbleweed was not only on fire, it seemed to have a mind of its own. Now, if this were just an ordinary burning and talking tumbleweed, the story should have just ended with the sunset. But God himself was using this tumbleweed to speak to Mo. God told Mo he had a job for him to do. What? Who, me? God told him that he had heard the cries of Little Joe's family, and that he was sending Mo to go to the mayor and demand he let them leave Dodgeball City. But who am I to go to the mayor? Look at me, I'm puny. I used to be pretty good with a dodgeball, but I put that behind me. God told Mo that he would help him, that he would be Mo's strength. But, but what if the people don't believe me when I tell them it's you who sent me? Tell them I am who I am, God said. Tell them I am has sent me to you. Okay, got it. I am has sent me to you. But, okay, what if... You know, they're still like, yeah, right. This? Oh, this is Sliver. It's my walking stick and berry pellant. Throw it on the ground? Okay. God told Mo to pick up the snake. That's a rattlesnake? Highly venomous? Huh? Okay, God. I think I can do this. But, can I ask a favor? I've got this thing about public speaking. Really, it terrifies me. What? Imagine everyone in their underwear? Yeah, tried it. Didn't work. Scared the willies out of me. God told Mo he'd have someone waiting for him outside of Dodgeball City to help him out with his public speaking, too. So Mo went back to tell his family he needed to go on a business trip. God's business. Come on, Zippy. Thanks for the new outfit, Sally. You're welcome, Mo. You're gonna need it. It'd be best if the mayor doesn't recognize you. He'll have you sent up the river. Oh, I almost forgot. You be careful now. I'm gonna miss you, Sally. Gherkin, you listen to your ma now, you hear? Goodbye, Mo. Now you go do what God says. You're a good woman, Sally. All right, Zippy, let's go. <laughs> Zippy? Hi, ho, Sliver! Away! <laughs> bye, boys. Oh, bye, Zippy, and don't forget to take care of each well other. Say hi to the mayor for me. <laughs> Hi, 
Howdy. You good at public speaking? You ever have to use the imagine everyone in their underwear trick? Mo! Shh! How did you know my name? Well, I'm Aaron, your brother. What are you talking about? You're not a zucchini. <gasps> Wait a minute. You're my brother, brother. That's right. I was adopted. Plus, your wanted poster is still up all over town. Anyone within a hundred miles of here knows your name. You'd better keep that mask on. I didn't recognize you with the mask, which is good. The mayor still has it in for you. Mo told Aaron everything God had sent him to say and about all the miraculous signs he had commanded him to perform. Ah! <laughs> I do the talking, you do the thing with the stick, God does the rest, and we all go free? Exactly. Huh. All right. Well, I won't have to sell rubber tomahawks anymore? Not unless you want to. I'm in! Don't you get bored out here? Oh, dreadfully. But it beats working in the canyon. You know, my sensitive skin, it just, it doesn't hold up. <laughs> Look at there! Huh? This can't be you. Ooh, it's well, that. He ain't wearing black. Well, you don't get that hat very well. That buffalo looks me. Can you tell he's not a little buffalo? You don't see those guys. I've never seen don't him before. Him. I've seen him somewhere. Isn't that the rubber tomahawk oh, guy? Don't that be it all? Heavens, who is that masked man? He must be a stranger. I'm sorry, I had to... Yes? Wait a minute. You're that worker who sells souvenirs outside of town, aren't you? Isn't that boring? Eh, beats the canyon. Huh. Well, who's this stranger? He come with you, or did he come alone? Ah, uh, yes. He's the, uh, he's the lone... The lone stranger. The lone stranger, eh? You know how to talk, stranger? Ah, uh, he's a bit shy. He prefers to have me speak for him. Did you forget to buy a backbone with that new cowboy hat, stranger? Well, what do you want? I don't have all day. Ahem. This is what the Lord God says. Let my people go. What's that? Let us go. Set us free. We want to leave. No more digging and stacking and selling rubber tomahawks. Adios, amigo. Let you go? God said so. Yeah, well, we'll just see what the mayor has to say about... Oh, sorry. What is it? He's only hauling 20 wheelbarrows an hour. I'm old. 30's the minimum. I can't do 30. I'm 80. 30's the minimum. Oh, you drive 30 at my age, you ungrateful. That's boy. enough. You heard the god. The rule is 30. If you can't do 30, it's up the river. No. Please. Take him away. <laughs> Hold this. But, but the plan. Oh. Nobody draws a dodgeball in the mayor's office but me. You want me to let you go, eh? Well, how's this? Sixty barrels an hour, and that goes for everyone. And you're gonna dig without shovels or picks to boot. How are we gonna do that? You figure it out. And you, you can go back and tell your people you just made their lives even more miserable. Now get back to work! What? Needless to say, Mo and Aaron's first meeting with the mayor did not go well. And not only did they not get their request granted, but the mayor more than doubled the workload for everyone. And in case you're wondering, the children of Little Joe were none too appreciative. So, that mask guy's name is the Lone Stranger!
danger. He is the one to thank for this. He's the biggest goofball to come around here since that mole guy. Remember him? That guy was a piece of work. Let's go home, Zippy. I'm just making it worse. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. What are you doing? You can't leave now. But you seen what I've done. They're better off without me. That's true. Hmm? But that's the whole point. When you just rely on yourself, on your own strength. I do the talking, you do the thing with the stick, and God does the rest. That was the plan, remember? God's plan. Well, I guess I did kind of blow it in there. Kinda. And if I'm not mistaken, that's not the only time you've gotten yourself into trouble with a dodgeball. But that was a long time ago, and only because I was trying to help. All your life, you wanted to be strong. But what God has called you to do here is far beyond your own strength. So I can't do this on my own. I can only do this if I let God do this. La -ta -da -ta -da. When the earth was born Who lit the light in the dark? God did. That's right! When the rain came down Who drew the plans for an ark? God did! Uh-huh. Precisely! And in case you ever wondered When old Abe turned a hundred Who took the reins and gave him diapers to change? God did! Exactly! And when the... Alright, alright, I get your point. It isn't my strength that's gonna help my people. It's God's. And since God called me to do this, He'll supply the strength I need. I'm gonna stick to the plan! So, Mo and Aaron headed back to Dodgeball City to follow God's plan. I've got two more verses. Now y'all sit tight to see how things turn out. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the... Take it, the old dude. Yo, me and the boys had an idea about another way to tell this Mo story. Right, boys? Yo! <laughs> Stick with the Western. See you guys. Great granddad loves his little coochie coochie coochie. Your mama's gonna be back soon, you cutie coochie coochie coochie. Who's your favorite great granddad? Who's gonna be the baby someday? Who's gonna hoochie coochie coochie? Oh, uh, <clears throat> what do you want? We've come back to assure you that God means business. What's that supposed to mean? If you do not set the workers free, 
you will face dire consequences. Excuse me? Hi, ho, sliver! Away! So then, you'll turn all our sticks into snakes? Ooh, I'm so scared. That's the sorriest snake I ever seen. You couldn't do better than that. I was on the spot. Big deal! So you're better at snakes. I'm still not letting anyone go. Get back to your souvenir shack and, and take what's-his-name with you before I lose my patience. So, what's next? Now in the Old West, taking a bath was a special occasion. And for the mayor, that occasion came every Saturday morning. But the mayor's bath was about to turn sour. <clears throat> along with the rest of his week. Good morning, Mayor. Uh, you two again? Uh, didn't I tell God you God has sent me to tell you, let my people go. Uh, guards! Hi, ho, sliver! Away! Juice. Well, the river turned red, and the mayor wouldn't listen. Let my people go! Vilma! Hi, ho, sliver! Away! But the mayor still wouldn't budge. So one more plague was visited upon Dodgeball City. The worst, saddest one of all. 
No, oh, it was terrible, but the mayor, well, he had brought it on himself. Now, God told the children of Little Joe to place a sign on their door to keep him safe. But for the rest of Dodgeball City, all of the firstborn boys were taken by the river. The mayor would like to see us. Leave us. Go away, all of you. Get out of Dodgeball City. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way. There they go. Good riddance. We're gonna have to figure out who's gonna do all the work now. Who was that masked man? It's Mo. Huh? The lone stranger. He, he, he's Mo. He, he just took off his mask. Give me those. Mo. Round up the posse. I got a score to settle. Death Valley. Mm. Huh? God wants us to go through Death Valley? We can't do that. We'll be barbecued. <laughs> Maybe we can just go around and catch up with the cloud on the other side. I don't know if... Uh, Sir? Uh, not now. How many could we fit on your buffalo? Can anybody bring ah. flip-flops? Sir? Can't you see we have a... Problem! It's the mayor! And he's got a bossy! In the back in the forest! Thanks a lot, Mo. We should have never left Dodgeball City. Yeah, we'd be better off serving the mayor than dying in the desert. Perhaps I could ride out and ask the mayor to take it easy on us. Did anyone bring any dodgeballs? Aaron, the plan, remember? I do the thing with the stick. you get away again. Come on, boys!
Oh, and this doesn't look good. In the great painted desert a long time ago, twixt the feet of the Rockies and the Bighorn Plateau, lived a man of great calling, a man of great skill, to trust the Almighty, his plan to fulfill. Oh, you did it, Mo. Nah, God did. I just followed the plan. Oh, Lone Stranger. Your mask hides your face, who you are we can't say. Oh, lone stranger, we sing high ho sliver away. It's time for a mana buffet. We sing high ho sliver.